Alright guys, welcome back, and thank you for sticking around as we switched up servers, and we're back now, gonna be bringing you this match that we intended to all along, it is Exertus Esports, it is 20B Street Coops Esports. Uh, let's talk about the Team's Flame a little bit, uh, we didn't get a chance to, uh, in, in all the sort of rescheduling madness. Um, obviously, the big sort of talk and invite is, uh, these are two land teams from last season, but gone through lineup changes. Uh, let's talk, I guess, first of all about uh, Street Hoops Esports. Um, what have you been seeing from these guys? Talk about their season so far. Well, so they're like, they're 4-2 and two right now, but we, everyone remembers that, for, I think it was the first match I cast, actually, they lost, I think, 5-4 in overtime to, I want to say, Mad Men. And so they could very easily be 5-1 and one right now. So this is one of those matches where you can't really count. Like, XGS is on a roll, but at the same time, Street Hoops is playing really well the past two weeks, and I mean, Badlands is one of those maps where everyone's played it a million times, so it'll be interesting to see if they come out more prepared than XCS when it comes to mid fights, because this is one of those where mid fights pretty much dictate the outcome of the round. Yeah, I can really uh, get going quick. Uh, talk about XTS as well. You know, last season, Street Hoops was a land team, they lost their first two matches. Exertus started off last season 3-3, three and three, and right now they're 6-0, and oh, and they're looking pretty damn good if I uh, if I say so myself. Are they going to just keep it rolling and go 7-0 and here, or uh, what's your thoughts on XTS? Uh, I'm going to predict a 5-2 or 5-3 XTS, but at the same time, I'm not 100% confident in that. I think Rando has actually shown that he's become one of the better like top soldiers in Invite. Like, Fragile's been around this game for Lord knows how long, and his experience on top of Rando's just DM has been pretty impressive this season so far. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it seems like to me, you know, both of these teams really, the lineup changes uh, were gone. I mean, we're almost halfway through the season now. It's uh, in terms of chemistry and working together as units. I think they're both there. Uh, even Street Hoops had sort of the most changes. Deadbolt's been playing great. We were just saying on demo, filling in uh, pretty heavy shoes, trying to replace Duwatna, but he's been holding his own absolutely, and adding Sizer to that team was huge as well. I mean, match after match. We see Incisor on Scout just putting up uh, really big numbers and really playing that aggressive kind of Scout role. Um, what are your, I mean, uh, you're, you're a former Scout. Uh, we, we talked about it, or I mentioned it, uh, I think I mentioned it. Who are you looking at in the Scouts, or who, who do you like? Who do you like in today's invite flame on Scout? Uh, I mean, I haven't played with Decimate in probably like two years, but he was really good back when I played. And uh, So I'd, I want to see him versus uh, Sizer, I think. Or not him versus Heather. Him and Sizer do work. I mean, I'm not too confident in the scout 1v1s if I'm 20B right now, just because I think Decimate and Sizer should have no problem cleaning them up. But at the same time, I'm pretty scared if I'm going into the Fragile and Rando. I, I think the players to watch this match are, though, are going to be like the Fragile and probably Sizer. I think, you, I think if they go in mid trying to get down Nick, the fragile, they'll um, they'll do a lot better. I think he's been the driving force behind this team actually, despite him being playing a non-fragging class. His ubers are actually always higher than the enemy medics, and his deaths are always less. It's his game sense is actually pretty good, and it's paying off for them, as you can tell with their six and zero record. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we'll be looking. Uh, actually, I'm seeing. Control point is being contested. Looks like Kozen. Uh... Kozen uh, is in the match. Uh, who, are, who are we waiting on right now? I'm trying to figure out who we're waiting for to join Oh, it is Kozen, so up. it's not even But yeah, fragile. it is going to be Kozen and not Fragile. Fragile, of course, though, uh, we're not totally talking out our ass here. Fragile was... He's a backup, but he did play several weeks already in the season. Uh, but Kozen, of course, was one of the big changes to this lineup. Kozen looking at his former squad and a lot of people talking on the forums about two things. About Street Hoops knowing how Kozen likes to play, but also about how Kozen knows how Street Hoops likes to play. And so, I think, I mean, Kozen will probably be just as much of a factor as Fragile would be if he was playing, don't you think? Yeah, I'm gonna actually, alright, so I didn't know that. So I'm gonna change my prediction now. I'm gonna say 5-4 or 5-3 for Street Hoops. Ooh, all right, a little closer. Not to not to like knock on Kozen, but the matches that I've watched were like, especially on that like that Granary match where they destroyed Freyo Tech. Like that was very much the fragile. I think Street Hoops is more of an underdog this game, but I don't think that they view themselves as an underdog. Like they wanted to play this. Like I would want to play it if I were them. Deadbolt's been putting out ridiculous damage every week. 
Sizer and Decimate, every week they get better. Like, they had a rough first week, but they've done really well since, and uh, I don't know. I think, I have faith this game in the 20B. He has faith. He is praying for the 20B. We just picked our teams. If you're just tuning in, he is Flame, I am Getaway L, and I'm watching Deadbolt on this first mid. And I really want to look at this 20B team and see how they roll out on this middle, because as we said, or as you alluded to, Flame, the way that these mids play out on Badlands, uh, they can be really important. But it is Badlands, and we're uh, going. We got that gorgeous green text. I'm looking at Mr. Deadbolt. Deadbolt uh, was getting a little bit of criticism at the beginning of the season for some of his rollouts. Wasn't always nailing it, but uh, I think that's behind him now, and he's certainly showing he belongs here. Just rolling out into house right now. I'm uh, zooming out here to look at the 20B team who just rolled out left, and already uh, Mela got all the way behind. Randall's there too, so both soldiers got behind for Exertus. Demo's chasing here now as well. We've got Randall and Alpha down. Ninja Nick goes down, Kozen down, so we lost our meds, and it's a DM fight now, but with only one player left, XTS gonna wipe real easy yeah, here with so, four up. Uh, yeah, so what happened was actually Deadbolt went in house, and you don't really see demos go window that often anymore. It's usually you try to get your stickies off on the train or something. Yeah. But he was able to scout the entire uh, XTS lineup coming their closet, so I mean, if you're gonna be grumped up or grouped up and you get that call off early, then you see what happens there. They just kinda got destroyed by. Just superior positioning. It's very interesting. I have not seen a demo just roll out that way in a while. It's, it's not how teams do it now, but I mean, it obviously yeah, yeah. worked great there. And we've got a big uber advantage right now for Ninja Nick. If you're looking here on the side, he's at but he's 60 on already. But he's on yeah, crits. he is on crits. So that's something to note. I think that they're just looking. They should just be looking. Ooh, what is this back cap? Besides, they're playing the what? giving them the giving them the old O fly treatment. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, I wasn't watching, but at least now we don't have to watch if their crits failed or went well. Wow, we got a round in the books in a minute and a half. You want to take us on this uh, mid-adventure here, Flame? Well, I, I think another thing to note is that uh, XDS actually just 5-0'd Mad Men, or Ding Dong Daddy, in like 10 minutes. And 20B spent the better of the past hour and a half scrimming Froyo Tech. So I'm gonna say, like, that stuff like that does actually matter, especially when it comes to like being warmed up or in the zone when you're playing. We're seeing Sizer now do a lot of damage coming up underneath house. He's gonna clean up the soldier, demo man, and possibly the last soldier. Oh my god, Paul. There oh, it is. Oh, Sizer, my lord. So we got, uh, oh boy. What has Brown Sugar done for you lately? Flames. I know. We had, a, we had big jumps. We had Grape coming over the top, but he was getting juggled. I didn't see who was juggling him, but uh, there was some big soldier play on that mid. But again, here we have Big Paul getting on second, and you got to think that uh, Exertus is only going to let a little sneaky back cap through once. Not one At the same time, though, do you twice. need the back cap here? You're rocking him with 100% Uber against yeah. 20. I think that they just need to slow it down, walk in, coming up here, find out, scout out that sentry gun, and just go. The demo's got a trap on the doors, but it's not going to be that great. And that sentry positioning, I'm not a fan. Yeah, sir, I was going to say, a lot of the pressure right now is on Kozen, who was, uh, we were talking about, a big guy to watch. I mean, he's... Oh boy, he, he's good at survivability himself, but you're sort of implying a little bit that Fragile, uh, certainly with his invite experience. Uh, here we go, uh, Kozen's got no one to heal right now. Crossbow is out, he's going to barely make it into spawn. But right now, it's all 20B all over this point. Deadbolt's going to flood it in real easy, too. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, you can fight 100% Uber versus 20, uh, you expect this. It's these mid-fights, so you, like, you have to keep your eyes on... I'm gonna watch Kozen this round, see what happens. If he survives, I think they'll win the round, but I mean, you could say that about any team, I guess. I'm looking at Deadbolt again, because, uh, and again, he's going through house, which, like we said, is kind of it's the safe. old school it's way. Safe. It is very I, safe. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like, I'm not, I don't want to die early in these fights, and it's working. I mean, he's getting his spam off. He hit the soldier, he hit both those soldiers with a sticky that just jumped. Their medic is being pocketed by the demo now, but he still hasn't taken damage this entire fight. It's more of a traditional rollout for everyone else, almost. Uh, the soldiers had their just textbook jump, and we've got Sizer and Ash down now. We've got Decimate down. It's a very good mid for XDS, but they're still going to fight it out. But Donsky trying to beast mode it out. We've got Paragon Alpha down. Grape's the last one left. I yeah, saw one... Mela doing tons of work, though. Did you yeah, see the I same mean... thing? You saw the weakness of the demo, though. Uh, Rando was walking around with two health for a really long time, and it took yep. a better, the better size of Deadbolt's entire clip to kill him. I think if he had a shotgun or a scout pistol, there he would have died a lot quicker. But it was just an awkward fight. The medic on uh, 20B never actually got to the point, and that's a drop tuber from Posen from a headshot a headshot on that. Give Sizer is Sizer. playing out of his mind today. He does not want to lose this.
And we talked about, uh, no offense to anyone else on 20B, but we talked about how huge of a pickup Sizer was for this Street Hoop squad, and he's proven it so far. I, I, it's unbelievable, and Kozen's still not up, rocking that, you know, 20 plus second respawn timer. So for XDS now, you're you're sort of boned at this point. You're going to try to fight it out. Mail is going to jump in and go for Nick, which is great, but it didn't work. Yeah, like, it's a good thing, actually. I like the decision here to just take mid without any Uber. Actually, Ninja Nick goes down, Alpha so took Uber's him out. about the yeah. same. Yeah, but they're gonna, they should be able to take Spire because so many players just died trying to do that. It's not. I don't think that was worth it. I mean, you got the medic pick, sure, but you're gonna lose two points, and meds gonna have forward spawn, and it's you don't. They're not gonna push out here, even Benanti's if they get their stuck spawn. stuck in forward, and Badonsi's gonna be out of this fight. He has nowhere to go right now. He's just very much stuck in spawn, and so trying to sneak out, he somehow got Paragon down. But Badonsky, not where you want to be right now. Nowhere near any of his teammates. He's gonna try to solo it and get deadbolt if he can, and he gets deadbolt. Uh, perfect, great, and so. I think right now Street Hoops is going to back out of here. They're without a demo. They've got no one in any kind of position, and uh, yeah, XTS they're... is going to bowl over here to mid if they can. They're playing really risky. Paragon just hit a really nice body shot. He's going to cycle spawn if he doesn't take any damage here. But Ash just picked Kozen. No, I don't. So... This game is this game is out of control. Ninja Nick needs to just back up right now. They need to get the yep. if they can't if they trade meds again. It's going to be unfor really unfortunate for them. We're piggybacking Ubers like crazy here right now. 85%, almost at 90 is what Nick has They got, should be but... taking mid right now, though, I think. The uh, red team has no heals. And, I mean, even though you have the 90%, you, uh, it's probably... Yeah, there you go. Sizer and Paragon just cleaning up in the house. Yeah, so left up right now, we have Kozen and Badonski alive. Those are the only ones out for XTS right now. We're going to try to take this clean. Uh, right now, Ninja Nick, he has been playing kind of risky. The matches I've seen him play a little bit, too, he's... He's a milker, isn't he? Yeah, I'm. I, I, oh, bleh, the last time I saw him, I think was like week one or two, and I think he dropped like three Ubers that game and they lost. But if I mean that was the first game I think they played with Sizer, and I remember Sizer telling me that he had issues where he he was afraid to like calm because or he didn't want to make too many aggressive calls because he had been with a team too short to be the one leading them. But I'm sure now by week three he's got that under control, so I'm pretty sure him and Ninja Nick... Because I used to play Medic, actually, I think, in Invite for... I don't remember which team. I just know that that was the first class I think he played. Yeah, we just saw a totally wasted Uber. If you were tracking that blue Uber, it was here and gone, and 20B just completely backed out, and now they're backing up to their own Spire. Mela just kind of came in and bodied it. I didn't see what exactly it might have been was a, some kind of flank play or something like that, but Mela just sort of challenged the And now Uber. Paragon is on Sniper, and these the, both of them, I mean, this is a really good strength of their team, that if you can run both your scouts confidently on Sniper, it, yep. it, it's used to be paying off. It's going to slow down this push. Ninja Nick should be able to get Uber, especially uh, Ash went a little bit balls to the wall there. But I think Ninja Nick, if he plays his position incorrectly, they should be able to get Uber and not so much defend Spire as... Uh, actually, what? How did Co What happened to Kozen's Uber? Yeah, cousin not healing, and he's. Uh, I, don't I think he just popped about. on mid, and they didn't go. I don't. I, I didn't watch. I was watching. I was waiting for <laughs> 20B to get their Uber up. But Nick coming like... through house now, and almost certainly he's gonna get popped off. I've got to think here. Oh, his Deadbolt goes down to a big headshot. He's. I mean, better to have Deadbolt go down than uh, Ninja Nick, but they are gonna get uh, free mid here. No, not. Wow, something just caught Ninja Nick. He's down to. It was 50. a body he's shot pop from the sniper and choke. Paragon went a little bit too ham there, I don't know why, but I'm, I really like this Uber by the way, but not if they don't clean up this med. No, we got Big Paul uh, in the face of Kozen right now, not able to clean him up. Yeah, yeah those are hot shots. I mean, you start yeah. panicking a little bit after the Uber is over. It's it's not a big deal. I mean, it is a big deal because you didn't get him, but I think the bigger deal with Paragon going into the soldier to fight the house, into the house to fight the soldier one v one. I don't think he needed to do that. He should have just played off the heels. Yeah, you talked about the scouts on Street Oops being uh, both really good at Sniper. Uh, we got two good Snipers on the other side too. We got Alpha and we've got Decimate, and Alpha's already picked out a couple little kills on Sniper. He's up, he's just staring down Spam right now, just for weeks, not picking anything up on this life, but uh, I think they're very competent Snipers on both sides. We've got Uber now 100% Kozen charging through. They're going to bring this around the flank side. For yeah, Sizer should have just, just scouted that. So they should be uh, aware that this is happening. So they should they should be able to react in time. Kind of a strange strategy here. They're just bringing it right in. They're going for the med pick or the demo pick if they can. They got Deadbolt down, but Kozen going to back out now. And what's he going to find? Uh, right away, taken out by the scout. Yeah, Sizer so no actually just took down Kozen, and now it's... I mean, they have 50% Uber advantage, it's not the biggest deal. I don't, it depends on whether or not they try to retake Spire. I think that they should. 
but then Decimate loses or wins the 1v1 with Paragon. So now they should just hold less, or it looks like they're going to hold less. They should be able to push out and retake upper lobby. I think that they need to do it really coordinated because this is the map where fat caps are. Everyone they have knows how to back up. Yeah, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know what I think of that uh, Uber from Red, and uh, they're keeping up Alpha on Sniper because they're maybe trying to get a sneaky pick or something, uh, catch them off guard. I mean, they're only at 50% on their Uber. And I think the Ninja Nick is smart enough. I mean, we see here now all Street Hoops coming out, and Badonsky's down already. Is this going to be the push? Yeah. Here um, they come. Yeah, Paragon's actually taking Grave Ridge. This is really good positioning. That Uber was a little... I don't know why he was there at resupply. It was a little awkward. And I really don't agree with XTS running a sniper right now, just because of the fact you don't... Like, right now, they're going to be up a... It looks like they're up an Uber, but their DPS isn't that high. I mean, unless the sniper hits the shots. And then you're just kind of risking it. They're going to have to retake Spire and then push in, but it, they might force Lobby again, which might not work. Well, it didn't work great last time. It's, uh, I kind of consider it just a waste to do where they just brought in the lobby, got the demo, and walked out. But here we are still. They're recapping it. Finally, Alpha's looking up to, to drop down. He's not getting anything, though. He yeah, Ninja Nix actually got... I, I mean, I'm, I don't know, but it feels like he's getting Ubers that he shouldn't be getting. Like, right now, he's gonna. He's at around 80. I don't think he deserves to be getting to 100. Yeah. But you're seeing right now... Here we I go. Think, Red's coming in. Yeah, but he's going to have it. And that's all because of Sizer using that little sword or whatever to build Uber. You see a lot? It's not gonna matter. So oh wow, they challenge it just Ninja in time. Nick, Ninja Nick with the awareness there, that was really well played. But he super himself that onto him, but it's not gonna matter. <laughs> they chipped away. They chipped away enough of the point that it didn't matter anyway. We've got 2 1 right now, still four street hoops, but uh, we're to see what Podonsky has here in store. I'm watching his rollout to mid because I think this XDS team, they were kind of taken off guard at the start of this one by a little bit of an unconventional sort of approach, and Badonsky now going to go out house as well, which is very interesting. Let's see how the rest of his squad plays this. Scout's going up far right already. Alpha trying to pick something out, but he's way... And he's followed actually by Mela who came in. The yeah, Deadpool Mela actually hit right a ridiculous away. pipe on the Scout that was diving him, and they should be able to win the fight just because of that one pipe, actually. <laughs> he, he should have been dead, I think, but he juggled the Scout into no man's land through choke, right. and he wound up creating... So and Alpha he actually, a billion miles in the area. What's up? Yeah, no, I was gonna say he actually didn't go through house that round and it paid off because he just he was able to sticky the soldiers out from lower. I don't know why teams all go lower now. It seems like it's become a thing. It wasn't always like that. Right. But and I don't I know why scouts is... don't go through choke anymore to counter that. It's yeah. strange. I don't know. A little bit of a different meta, I, I agree. I mean yeah, Valley has certainly become the prominent rollout on this map. Uh, we got now Rando up there alone. Meanwhile there's a blue Uber down below busy taking out Mela. This means Rando up here on point. Deadpool just gonna try to lay a couple quick sticks down. Ergon is down, here comes Rando. He wants to maybe try to go through house with this. I think 20B needs to readjust where their scouts are playing right now. Um Sizer's one of those scouts that really likes his heals, you know? I mean, it's not, it's not a bad thing, it's definitely worth it a lot of the time, but they're not watching their flank, and these Ubers are getting forced way too early and for no reason. Sizer's actually going to try to go for the back cap here, which is a really smart play if he doesn't get scouted out. I don't like his positioning though, because someone's probably going to come out from bats. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see how this plays out. This is the first kind of stalemate moment we've had, really, uh, of note on this map right now. And yeah, 60, almost at 70% right now is Ninja Nick. They're just building uh, again. We got Paragon just using a little Guru and Blade, building it up. Uh, and they're going to get it in time, seems like, which is yeah, see, so great. Now Alpha comes out Sniper and spots Paul immediately, and now Paul is just kind of stuck behind them, and they know about it. And he doesn't win the 1v1 with Decimate. I, I, he should have just hidden in trash or something and let them push mid. It would have been fine, but... Weird. And this is a really forced Uber too, I don't like this, it's early, but if they can make things happen with it, which they shouldn't be able to just because of how early they had to pop. Yeah, Let's I don't know happens. man, uh, Ninja Nick uh, got blasted off a bridge and was kind of struggling, he picks up Grape who almost gets air shot there and now Ninja Nick gonna attack himself, there's three players up, make that two on Street Hoops. Uh, Sizer has heals. Uh, I, Paragon's playing too aggressive right now. He dove through choke on a scout's demo man, and then he probably could have backed out and then didn't and died again. Like the, the 20 B scouts literally just need to take a breath every single fight instead of trying to get too much done too quickly. Like there's no rush on TF2. <laughs> like you're gonna get a <laughs> you're gonna get a chance to get the frags. You don't have to. Yeah. Kill yourself for them. If he had survived it, they'd be fine. Yeah. We got 30 minutes and a half here. Uh, not a big deal. Right now, if you're just joining us, it is two to one for Street Hoops right now. Trying to get something done here in this trash area, but uh, nothing doing right now. We have 
Mail is the only one down on the side of Exertus, though. And they do have that full Uber up against about 85, but it certainly seems like... Oh boy, I mean, Ninunik's gonna get his, but he's, he's got, got one guy to heal, so XDS, they're just walking in, they don't see any blue at all. Scout tried it, and, and wow, we double scout kind of, uh, they, have, uh, they didn't yeah. even need the Uber at no, all. No, I know, yeah, it was, it was odd. I bad don't know, timing. I think, you put yeah, that on it, was, it was, it was really bad timing, I don't it's know. It's all their fault, they wasn't need it? To just, yeah, they need to just slow, like, they need to just take a breath, like, they're winning these mids, and then they're dying, all trying to, like, push the enemy's lower lobby, when they don't even have a Spire cap. Take like, a cap breath! Is, yeah, take a Spire, like, get the point, just chill, there's no rush. Yeah, sorry now I'm watching, uh, I'm looking at Depo after he sort of manhandled the last bit, he's down to 10 though right now, and no heals in sight. So Ninja Nick went down, Kozen down too, so no heals at all, but it doesn't matter, all we got is red players, so XDS is going to take this Kozen one. Goes, yeah, Kozen goes down though, so they should be able to get Spire, but if they stick around on Spire too long, we're going to see them lose it. Yeah, yeah pretty, um, we, we see this situation a lot, uh, especially on this Badlands map, where you get a full wipe and you come in and you... Take uh, Spire, but no medic, like we said, because Kozen did go down. And uh, I, I mean, I don't think that Street is going to try anything crazy here. Uh, Ash is in lobby, you know. We see a little bit of standard jockey for position here. I mean, Alpha just suicide, but he's probably going to spawn up sniper or spy or something, just based yep. on knowing Alpha. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's it's strange to see. Like, Paul didn't need to take the one v one with Mail on the stairs, but he did anyway. It's like they're trying too much. Uh, but it's TF2, I mean, that's the meta, that's the, like, thought process when you're playing shooters, right? Is yeah. I have to get kills, I have to get kills, I have to Let get kills. Let me cut you off for a sec, Flame. We got a crits Krieg up. Kozen's about to get his crits. So we've got the crits watch in lobby right now. I don't know about this coming in on last, but... Ninja Nick is Uber about to pop. Yep. He has it. So there it is. He does. So, uh, he pops off. Grape did go down in that crit exchange. Not perfect, it's, it's not always possible to judge your exact advantage, but uh, kind of a misjudgment there. And we're still here, same spot uh, in lobby. Alpha's trying to get a pick if he can. Get that gun up still, and uh, Alpha does get to, it's the body shot on the sentry gun. It's not a big deal, though, that that crits didn't work, just because they're going to get it again, assuming nothing goes wrong here. Yeah, I mean, it's really incumbent on Street Hoops in this situation to come in and get the medic, but not... Easy, I mean, it's very easy to seal this lobby area up if you're XTS, right? No, yeah, yeah, I mean, if they if they just hold, Sage is going to build up another gun. He knows he has to, pretty much, because that's the counter, I guess, to crits. But now it's 70 to 100. If they don't get the medic pick, though, if they don't get the point here, I'd expect 20 B to push out to 2. I like here we go with I really like this pyro. That was... That, 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 right that was... Like, <laughs> that was <laughs> oh, Grape just playing out of his reflect. mind. Grape showing teams why Crit is oh. risky. Two reflective rockets just <laughs> won them the. I want to say the round, but we'll see what happens. As Alpha far as gets them a headshot, Paragon, but oh my god, highlight reel for Grape. Add that to the pyro frag vid, maybe getting the kill on Rando with the reflect there. Uh, and now suddenly we're out in yard. Cozen's still on Crit's Krieg, but. It's kind of an expiry date on the Crits Krieg, isn't there, in terms of surprise? I mean, obviously, 20B planned it now. Well, I mean, it wasn't so much... I mean, they didn't kill the med. He, like, unless he dies, he's not going to switch off Crits. It's useless, right? Yeah, so, I mean... No, well, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, if they had pushed in and the Pyro didn't reflect two rockets, it could have been a completely different fight. But Grape showing us how to play some Pyro dodgeball and doing a really good <laughs> job of it. And, and make, again, make, uh, they're stuck. I, if I'm Kozen, I would have just said, "Let's go in. Let's just push last. Like, let's yeah. I'll end suicide." Because again, now they're stuck and they don't have advantage. There's no point right now. But I'm just gonna try to get that pick. I mean, he's uh, he's poking away. They know he's gonna be there. And already now, we got Grape coming down, challenging on his main class, and Ninja Nick as well, just kind of blocking up this whole area. And nothing gonna come out of this uh, crit off the camera. We had Decimate taking out Deadbolt. The Paragon down now as well, so it is, well, it's 4v4 now. Sizer so going battle, out. and uh, I don't know. I think that they, I think right now they have to push out 20B, but they have a s NG, so that's like really, that's a problem right now. It's like the crits <laughs> is a problem, and the fact that they have an engineer is a problem. Paul actually got a kill or two just going engineer shotgun, which is really good, but now you're seeing with a gun, and they have crits again. Like, Grape's probably just going to respawn his pyro. And the problem is yep, here, I mean, we, we're still using Crits Krieg, they know they're going to get it first, and they've got the crits here now again. It's just kind of this cat and mouse of like, where's the crit going to come from, who's well, going to be? The thing is though, last round they played it with a soldier, I wouldn't, I hope they do it with the devil man. They shouldn't do it with a soldier again, because reflecting stickies is, I mean, you still have to death them, you know? So, yeah. 
But they're gonna give him Uber again. Like, Ninja Nick's sitting on Uber. I don't. I, it's this is so like I don't want to say it's bad, but it's just like such a. Th this is a stalemate that's gonna be really hard to break without some ridiculous. Like what is this? There's a pyro. XDS just lost four. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> There's lost four players, so the push is done. Ray I mean that's just it. Main class pyro. Um, that's all I'm seeing out of this. Because now they're gonna hold mid with crits against the full Uber. Cozy needs to die. Like right now, because they're gonna they're gonna lose the round because he has crits if they don't do something with it. You heard it here now uh, on Team Fortress TV. Cozy needs to die. But no, uh, you, you make a fantastic point. I mean, he's stuck with that crits in his hand, and it's uh, it's really it's worth less and less as no, time yeah, goes exa on. No, exactly. They're playing. They know how to play against it, which is strange. You don't see many teams playing against it this well, but they handled it ridiculously well. But they've I got confidence. I mean, Street Hoops. They I mean they they've gone up against what four crits in a row and. They absolutely know how to play it. It is 2-2 here right now. If you are just joining us right now and Cozen holding on to that full crits Krieg, it's... I, I mean, I, I can't see them possibly getting anything off this. And they lost Mela now as well. Is this going to be 20B's push? I'm looking at red right now. Still going to wait. I don't know if... I mean, I'm sure they know that Cozen's still running crits. So I don't know why they're not just blasting through Choke right now with a soldier yeah. demo. Or just a scout. You could even just run a scout at the movie yeah. and take out the med. It's a little yeah, unorthodox, a scout around back, but... but uh, is a flank play scout here a, like a great? I mean, you're a scout. Uh, it's hard to push this because if you go through choke and then they back cap you or wrap around you, it's it's like a strange thing where you can get back capped while because spire caps a lot faster than mid on this map. Right, yeah. So it's hard to retake mid just because of that fact where you can just kind of dodge the fight. And they're giving them a lot of respect here, but I don't know what XS's plan is here. I would say if I'm them, I just push in right now with the Crits Krieg on the demo and hope for the best. Like pray to get the Uber and then try to reset. But they know they're on the back foot because they can't push into this because there's an Uber ready for them. I don't know. It's it's a yeah. it's a really strange position here. And, and we got a lot of spam coming through. It looks like Decimate wants to just poke it. And I mean, you've played an invite. Obviously, what kind of comms? I mean, what's going on? Do you think right now in the XTS mumble? What are they thinking right now as they hold on to a Crits? I don't. I don't know. This is it's it's hard. It's. They're both both teams are afraid right now. If Deadbolt goes in here, like if they Uber the demo or something, say, if they don't, if the flash isn't good from the um, from what's his name, from Ninja Nick, and someone gets a crit sticky and they die, then it's it's a one fight for the Crits Krieg. Uh, at the same time, if the Crits Krieg doesn't, if the medic doesn't get a good crits, <laughs> and then the Uber kills the medic, then it's a lost fight for them. But you can't push mid on this map without a really big advantage, and these advantages aren't that big. It's just the fact that there's an Uber there. Yeah, so I really think Uber sort of the Uber, you would kind of go here, but the fact that yeah. like crit, it's hard to kill a medic on this mid from a defense from an offensive position. But we're creating a ton of space here, and it looks like 20B are uh, we've got Ash right now underneath the bridge. He's underneath mid. I don't know if they know he's there. He got around. All right, so I mean, here's the, the miracle Uber versus Ash crit exchange, and if they don't get mid right now as Alpha back have Spire, which is unfortunate, but yep. we'll see how they handle it. I mean, uh, right now it's, uh, and we've got Alpha, Alpha way behind, just kind of living back there. Do they know why? Oh, here we go. We've got Size are going to try to clean him up a little bit. Um, nobody, though, uh, I mean, they're just getting the Spire now. They just lost Badonski as well, which is they're, one of their firepower. Just, I don't know why they decided to do that. It's, it was a little strange. If Paragon can defend Spire here, the two skies versus one. I don't, Ninja Nick's on last with Ash. Uh, I don't like this. I don't think that Ninja Nick should have backed up there. I don't think XTS should have pushed through Choke. It kind of worked out for them, but that's because the uh, Ninja Nick backed up. They should have been able to defend Spire though. It was 3v3 and it was Crits versus Uber again and they didn't have Crits. We've got so, a Spy up. It's Alpha if he's going to stay on it. No, he's going to yeah, stay on it. Yeah, we've got Alpha up as Spy, which is interesting because last time we were here, Flame, and we had this crit sitting in lobby. I was wondering if you're the defending team, is, is a Spy play sort of... Uh, but we have an offensive Spy now going into last, which we don't really see much. Well, Certainly not process, an invite. No, no, well, I, no, it's not a bad... It's not bad here just because of the crits. It's like if you can create the, create the commotion with the sapper or the backstab or something like if you miss the backstab or something or they call spy then you come in with the crits and then suddenly right. everyone's looking at a spy crits it's like a surprise thing like if he gets the medic here ooh, ooh went for it. oh he gets he it with the revolver <laughs> he switched off his medic beam and that's I don't want the revolver kill. I want to say it's round losing, but it's it might not be just because of the sentry. Well, uh, right away, in on Kozen comes Paragon. Sizer is up. carrying the shit out of this team right now. 
That was a huge play on the shotgun NG to defend the point. So here I am thinking that at last defensive spy is the big play, but obviously it's offensive spy. Fantastic uh, call there by Alpha, who's back up on his uh, fave class. He's up on his sniper. And, uh, well, so I don't, I don't want to say it was a great play. I think it was a misplay from Ninja Nick switching to his. He had. I don't Uber. know what that was. Yeah, he had Uber, so it was. It, I think that, counts, that definitely counts as an Uber drop, but he had it, so. I would have liked to see him go spy here again instead of sniper though, because the points already have cap. You might as well try. Like this is the where like Solid Snake would switch to like charge and charge down man and just go for it, because it's already. You might as well try. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you're saying, and I agree with that. I mean, once you chip away enough of that last point, you can just sort of throw sh sh stuff on it until you get it. Decimate Although, down. That's another scan. Melee down. What are they doing? Down, what? The they just their we got Grave going crazy board. here. Oh What's going God, on? Hello, what am Grape? I watching? Hello? I Ninja don't Nick, know what happened. Ninja Nick to just FPS. switched to his freaking. Get off your arrows! You have 97% Uber, please. You know, I'm told that one of the letters in Grape's name is silent. I don't know which one, but at any rate, I, just major misplays here going on. I don't know. Kind of a lapse in judgment here by XTS Sizer's playing or what? some really good Spire defense right now, he, and that was a really good Uber from Ninja wow. Nick. If he can stay on Sizer here, why are you still a sniper? Questionable plays here from XTS. They got they're getting frustrated. I mean, they just had crits for a good what felt like 20 minutes. It obviously, it wasn't 20 minutes, but what felt like a better of 10 minutes. So. Well, they tried to push down, last uh, many times. We got Badonski and Koza now holding S on their keyboard, getting the hell out of there. Uh, and uh, we got a lot of forward spawns, which are going to jump out here and sort of defend and at least create a fight at Spire. But certainly right now, uh, boy oh boy, Street Hoops, uh, I think they got to just keep pushing on here and pressing on, don't you think? And kind of build on this momentum? Yeah, this is one of those uh, times where they just they need to just like accept the fact that they won a pretty big fight. Like they held last for a very long time, and Sizer's actually gonna hide in these bushes. It's a really good spot to hide General as scout. It's hard to get spotted unless he has like a weird unusual head or something. Uh, right now, I mean, we've got uh, up, up here at mid. We've got the the Ubers going on. So far, only Alpha down. Sizer's under the bridge, trying to just. I mean, he wants to take out the whole team if he can. He'll be assist on decimate. Uh, Blue owns this middle right now. Sizer's not done. Look at Sizer go. Sizer gets surfs a little rocket. He gets out. Sizer. He's I probably think he really wants confused. an ace no, 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 every yeah, He was there. He was confused there. He was like, "Why is their entire team at resupply? They're down both scouts." I would have probably went the same. Or a lot of people would have went the same way. I want them to get on Spire though. Like, XS is playing this Grape really is strange. Yet. Yeah, oh, it's, it's Grape is way behind. He's, he's been such a beast in this match. I mean, just uh, an amazing soldier, and he's just uh, he's just standing on standing on train car, just playing MGE. But I mean, uh, XTS are getting aggressive, and I mean, I think they really have to. I think they're putting up a good fight here. They're not letting themselves get rolled over. Uh, Kozen's at 80% right now, but Ninja Nick is about to get his. It's gonna be pretty much even Ubers here. And really kind of incumbent now on XTS. If Exertus, uh, I mean, they they don't have a sniper up. They've got their regular classes. I think that they really sort of need to move on this. They've got great flank control. They're, they're doing everything they need to do. Just waiting for their moment right now. What do you think, yeah, Flank? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, if Paul keeps trying to make these, like, Cheeky plays and it's paying off for them, but right now again they're putting all five in choke. No one's on flank right now. So Here's Ash. Although Tonsky with was big held pipe for on a while. Ash. I don't know if you caught it. No, I did. That camera and uh, he had a really I mean, nice rocket kill, play. but yeah. Uh, but I mean, you know, Ash going down. Well, I don't know. Is is either team gonna act on this? Probably not. Mela down now as well. So we traded soldiers. They're playing and that's... this so strange. They, all right, so Ash went in there, did a ridiculous amount of damage to Kozen. I'm surprised he didn't force the Uber. But then Kozen got juggled all the way back to Spire and had like no health, had to go back. And then they decided to push when they didn't have their medic in a good position to push. Paul just like, sacked for nothing and killed himself. We have Ubers exchanged here now. Grape is backing up. It looks like all of XTS is coming through. Although but they're now four they're suiciding up. on Ninja Nick, and oh, I don't know if this is worth it. And look at Grape! Grape is Ninja taking care Nick of everyone, doesn't just matter. just made it out with 12 health wow. after they suicided the soldier. Oh, that's, that's gotta hurt, because Kozen's down now. They should be able to take this round. I'm gonna say that that was a round winning rocket dodge from Ninja Nick. Yeah, I feel like, Flame, I almost feel like Street Hoops should have really taken points and taken a round a lot faster than this. Doesn't it feel like it's taken too long given how strong they're playing? 
They're, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's it's strange. It's, it's like a weird... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just... A, I mean, the like, crits made a big deal, and there's been a lot of scout suiciding on street hoops. Not saying that they're playing bad, but they're playing hyper-aggressive, and some rounds it's paying off, and some rounds it's clearly not. Yeah, they I just need to get what... Uber and go now, though. Yeah, Alphas, absolutely. You're but, like, at see, see, here they're going. They think the Pyro NG is like the new thing because it just destroyed them twice, but that's because they had Crits Krieg. I hope that they play this correctly and just rush the point. Take the gun and rush the point because that's, that's how you, reflect, that's how you win against this. Pyro blocks the left side. Graves got to go right. He's going to have to grab, though. It doesn't get the small pack, and so he might not be up long. We're going to try to clear this last up, but it's only Badonski left up, and it's not hard to win 3-2 uh, Street Hoops. Nope. We're going into half. That was really, that was really well played, actually. That was smart. I mean, it's um, like you don't, you can't really just go pyro. <laughs> it like it only worked because of the crits, and you can't just go ng. It also only worked because of the crits. I mean, you can try it every now and then if you're behind on Uber, which I guess they were. Yep. But I, I would have rather a heavy there, I think, or maybe even a defensive sniper just to try to get a pick through the door. Yeah, it it's one thing to sort of reflect and block off an area, but once you do that, it's like, well, what do you do now? You're not going to jump in and burn everyone. You're, you're sort of a, at a disadvantage. Um, we're, we're getting the stats up on the screen, uh, and I'm going to have a look at the stats. Uh, while we're doing that, I just want to mention everyone that's watching, if you weren't here earlier when we mentioned it, we're going to be giving away the I-52 giveaway hat, the, the perk, the unusual tyrant's helm. We're giving it away tonight after this match. And so don't go anywhere after the match. We are going to be giving it away. Uh, if you don't know all about that, uh, I mean, where have you been? But it was part of our I-52 fundraiser. We'll talk more about it later. Uh, do you notice anything on the stats, Flame? I'm looking at them now as well. I'm going to tab to them real quick. And the medics were pretty equal on charges. They each dropped one, so not a huge difference in the medics, although we've been kind of raising questions about Ninja Nick's play in a couple different situations. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's not that it's, it's just, it's it's kind of hard. Some of these fights have been, and this round is going to be really dif difficult to gauge damage. Like, I don't like looking at damage or so much kills, especially on um, Badlands. It's really hard to, like you saw before, Mela died a bazillion times, but didn't really matter. Like, I felt like he was dead for a majority of that last round, but it didn't, like, play off as much, I think, as it could have. Like, he, he's sitting right now at the bottom at 17 with 27 deaths. I mean, 27 deaths is yeah. a lot. But it, the game's still close, you know? So it's it's more, I think, how good how like good your frags transition or how many, like, forces you can make. But Sizer is actually at the top of a lot of things right now. <laughs> top of the I'm lot of things. I forget what these mean. I haven't played <laughs> Scout in Invite or in ESA in a long time. He's at the top of a lot of things. Well, I'm looking at damage. I mean, damage is something people like to look at. We got Badonski being a beast, and we all know he's a beast. He's over 10k on damage. 343 DPM. On the other side, we got Grape at 331. No surprise there. Uh, Deadball 294. Uh, been playing pretty impressively. If there's anyone out there still questioning, you know, Deadbolt's ability as a demo, I think it's time to end that. But, uh, yeah, looking at the soldiers right now as well, uh, I mean, uh, we saw a couple sniper plays from each side. I mean, no standout. Uh, Sizer actually no standout had a crossing. medic drop, I think. He had a headshot on Cozen to win them the second round, I think, that they won. We're but, going, I believe. Are we back up? Is this real? I get so distracted uh, by the stats. I know, I was looking at the stats. I'm a it's pro fine. caster, did I mention? No, this, this can't be real. No, it's not. It's not real. I just get it's so afraid, real. you know. I was gonna say there's there's like four people in middle and both medics are dead. <laughs> well, you know, on. there's a new meta and so on. I only have two monitors, you know. I can only look at one thing at a time. But uh, at any rate, I mean, it. What are your thoughts overall? I mean, it is three two right now. Street hoops leading three two over Exertus, and I mean, we had sort of Exertus came out very strong out of the gates, but uh, I don't know. Just maybe a couple key mistakes here and there. What would you what would you chop the three two up to if you had to say one thing, real um, quick as we go live? I would here. I would say that, that last round should give twenty uh, B enough momentum now for them to close this out. I don't I don't want to say that they won already, but I'm going to say that winning rounds like that, those twenty minute fifteen minute rounds that just drain you, where you can't push last and you get frustrated to the point where you're running sniper spy crits, NGs, <laughs> like it's hard to come back after that. Ninja Nick 
has played really well too, and I think Sizer's actually been the driving force of this team today. So if they can win this mid fight. I'm kind of, I'm really looking forward to that. And as I say that, Kazan goes down. Ninja Nick needs to back up. They need to just back up and keep the medic alive. Just chill for a second, and that's exactly what they're gonna do, which is really smart. Yeah, so we're gonna see if they can ride this momentum wave. Paragon picks out, gets some nice picks here, going for the little 3K. Is he gonna get it? Well, that at any rate, Decimate goes down. Paragon, last man standing. That was a very interesting mid. I saw a lot of things on that. Uh, nothing from Grape. I was watching Grape Flame because you can be so big on mids, but just kind of playing dirty and just kind of went down real quick. Uh, yeah, what'd it you was, spot it from was your side? Well, I mean, I got ups I'm, I'm not upset, but I got pretty frustrated by the fact that Kozen went down super early. Like, he went down, I think, like a good five, six seconds into the fight. They needed to just back up there and get Ninja Nick as Uber. Then, like, the fact that they died, the fact that he died last is almost not beneficial here because Kozen spawned so much earlier than Ninja Nick just because Ninja Nick didn't get out. If Ninja Nick had gotten out, it'd be 100% Uber to like 20 and they'd be capping Spire and probably pushing less. But instead, since Kozen went down so fast and Ninja Nick died a good like five or six seconds later, he gets the spawn advantage and now the Uber advantage and they retake the point because of that. And here comes the Uber in a real easy pop and a lot, or a real early pop and a lot of ground to cover with this Uber. What do you? That's not exactly where you want to pop yours, but uh, they did it anyway. Kozen gonna just bring his boys in, and uh, they pick out Grape, which is good. They lose Randos. We I don't know why they're all right. So it was it was good, right? It wasn't a bad push. Like it looked like a sloppy Uber, but it wasn't an awful idea. Ninja Nick playing with fire here, by the way. Why? Oh my God! So th that makes you so Standing sad. Standing on last the so whole time. So sad. He missed his sticky is on the point, and the dome man just caps in front of him. Oh, oh boy. I don't, and I'm so, not going to uh, analyze that round. That round was upsetting on a lot of fronts, and I just want to <laughs> reset 3-3. Three, three. Flame, the score is 3-3 three, three now, which means it is a best of three. Uh, man, oh man, I'm going to watch Mela, one of the guys who was left standing at that last point there a second ago. Comes under mid real quick, and sending a soldier underneath mid, uh, just kind of high-fiving underneath the bridge uh, each time, which is a little different. No big jump, Mela goes down right away. Rando's down too, so no soldiers. Both meds still up, although Nick down to 50 or so. He's just hanging out in house right now. Yeah, Sizer actually house, got but... buffed really late in that fight, and they he wound up doing a ridiculous amount of damage. I, their mid fight didn't, their rollout just didn't work their XTSs. I don't know what their plan was, but they jumped the soldier under bridge and he did absolutely nothing. Yeah. And then he just got eaten alive. I saw but... the same thing from uh, Street Hoops last time. They just jumped Grape under and didn't do anything. I don't know what this soldier under the bridge move is, but. It's good if you can catch them off guard or if the demo's there or something, but why is Alpha Spawn as a sniper? What are you doing there? It's questionable plays there. I want to see Ninja Nick and them just go. Like right now, don't give them time to set up. Don't give Alpha the 13 seconds he needs to spawn. It doesn't matter if they have the Decimate's two, just go. Decimate's flanking around the flank of a lifetime as Pyro for some reason. Uh, obviously, uh, this is maybe the disadvantage of going Pyro. Decimate just walking back into spawn. Ubers are pop meanwhile. We've got Rando just trying to body block the medic. He's going to take out Ninja Nick easy. Uber right now himself is going on Deadbolt. He gets Ash. But uh, we're still finding out here in Lobby. Big Sizer's trying to go huge as well. He's trying to get Decimate. Little 1v1 going on. Sizer's stepping outside. Uh, Grape is at 14 HP. Uh, these fights are getting scrappy. Play. Yeah, Sizer's actually playing this really smart. He's just being annoying. Like, he doesn't have to get a kill here, and he knows that. He just needs to stay alive. And then he goes in and dies. If he, like, you kind of just want to hold the house. Like, as long as you have a scout that you have to worry about, it's hard to retake Spire. And now, just, be just because he died, they're going to be able to contest Spire. But as I say that, Adonsky goes down to the Grapes and Ash's rockets are actually insane right now. I, I don't know, I haven't been they're watching the soldiers as much, but yeah they're, yeah, they're hitting their shots. They are playing unbelievable, and then Kozen's kind of stuck now, he's running back, he's all the way back to last. Mela getting back as well, he was real low, there's three up for XTS, and uh, would be surprised, is Street Hoops, are they going to come right in? They're, they're running into trouble though, uh, almost getting taken out, there was Deadbolt. We've got Ash just coming in, uh, Street Hoops doesn't want to bleed here, they want to get organized, they chip away half of the point. Deadbolt needed to commit, I mean, I, I don't they really it, because they got commit. Kozen, they got Kozen, so it's right. fine. If they didn't get Kozen, still. I'd be questioning what they're doing right now, and I think they need to back up, like, I think they're a little too, too far up right now. Well, I mean, they didn't have Uber, but now they do, so now they're good, but they don't have their entire team pushing right now. Dibble gets a sick pipe and takes out the scout. He's going for Vodonsky now as well if he can get him. There's 5v3 right now. We're looking real good. Although big Ninja Nick and Deadbolt going down. It's a scramble for last right now. Ash comes in late after the... 
He's just gonna get right on it, and Ash is gonna take it. That was lucky. He got the pick I'm on gonna, the soldier. Yeah, let me tell you what happened there. So they, they had the full loop advantage, and they just went. But they didn't have, like, two people, because they had just spawned. Right. Like, they saw, they looked at the scoreboard and said, oh, we have five, and Uber, let's go. But they actually only had three, and that almost turned out really bad for them. Ash got pretty lucky on that cap. I don't want to say that that was a lost round, but they would have had to push that again if Ash didn't get that split, split second on that cap point. Yeah, stayed out of the fight just perfectly in time. So it's 4-3 now for Street Oops, who I think were kind of the underdog coming into this one. We've got standard play, Rando right off the bat, taking out Deadbolt. Paragon's going to come in on him, though. We've got Great Meanwhile back at point. He's trying to take out Mela if he can. Mela jumps back and gets out somehow? Well, Mela's, Rando's uh... shotgun there should have won them the round. If I'm Rando, I'm really frustrated right now. But at the same time, why? Why did you just ditch your medic? Kozen was down. What are they doing? Why? What is, like... I'm so confused right now. Guys, Ninja... Flame is not happy with you right now. He's I am frustrated. not happy at all right now with Grape's Tell decision there it. to Tell jump mid. It. There was nobody, everyone was low on XTS, which is great, but they didn't have a medic. So just build your Uber and then push mid. Don't suicide into four of them and die. Even if they got one scout with them, they would have been able to retake mid, but now it's now they're in that weird position where like, how do we push mid? They don't have it, we have it, blah blah blah. <laughs> if, if they don't, if they have to force through this choke and don't get Kozen, we're looking at a potentially lost round. As Sizer yeah, goes I'm, down I'm before looking, the I'm fight the even Kozen, starts. On the Kozen cam right now, Sizer and Paragon down. I'm watching Kozen right now, he's... The kick could juke, I mean, he's, he's got real ukes, but it certainly helps the Sizer and Paragon are down, because they've been playing, uh, you know, them along with Rape, they're probably... Uh, three of the sort of top players in this match. Uh, Kozen's about to get his, and so he waited long enough. He didn't really have anything in his face. But uh, he's still sitting. Here comes Ash. He's going to try to force the issue here. Kozen hanging on, which is great. He finally does pop, though. Going under the bridge to meet up with Badonski. Only pick yet is Ash. Great finally goes down as well. That's both soldiers. Badonski's down as well. Kozen getting the crossbows out. Uh, he's got Decimate with them. There's only three up on 20B right now. Yeah, Sizer, um, they came, him and Deadbolt made the right play and just backed up. They're gonna have uber advantage, but it, the positioning advantage is probably a bigger deal on this map, especially since Spire is really hard to retake. They're gonna have to give it up though, and it's kind of unfortunate. They had the advantage, and they, sh they didn't need to dive into middle. Like, I think they sent two or three people in first. As we see Alpha Suicide, just so you can respawn a sniper or spy or something crazy, probably. But yeah, they should have just pushed. Lobby right now. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, they should. They have 50% advantage. They need to see yep. if they can make a play, especially with one down. But one down is not really that big a deal. They almost didn't want to give up Spire. I can see them dying to hold it, but they're going to come back out now. They lose Sizer and Grape, though. Kind of a failed, uh, we're looking at last now. They really should have came out. I really think, I, I agree with you, they could have really fought that. Well, and it was more the fact that they shouldn't have given them Spire. They should have just pushed me with Uber, but... I don't hate this pop. I don't know what's gonna happen here though. This is an awkward fight. They popped in really early, and now they're gonna fight it. Randall's just standing, reloading on yeah. last, which is always great. Uh, I mean, Alpha's gonna try to run in, and he's just it's a, somehow. We're going, over, we're going overtime, man. Somehow the cap happens there. I was, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it there for XTS, but we're looking at 4-4. We got 21 minutes, and next cap takes it. What'd you see in that last fight, Flame? And it's just too hectic. I, um, I, the scratch just kind of bum rushed Deadbolt, and it worked out just because he wasn't ready to be defending the point. I, Rando looked like he was just staying there doing nothing, but it forced all the attention of XTS to be shooting a overheeled soldier with full ammo. Ash is going to jump in. Uh, he's got nothing there for him. He's still alive. It was the first thing he did on this mid right now. He's down to 40. In come the scouts and just a swarm right now. XTS Ninja Nick needs to survive this. here. This is yep. going to be telling of. All right, we'll see what happens. Well, that was <gasps> that was <it. laughs> Speaking of the devil, range. we got oh, Badonski with a just the money stick and uh, hanging on here. We're gonna have a hell of a finish. It, it, I mean, we've got 20 minutes. There's no rush for time. The next cap takes it. Uh, hold on to blue. Uh, hold on to mid right now is blue. That's XTS coming around the corner and respawns. Just barely getting up here. Gonna have a fight, I mean, uh, no Uber has been popped off right now. We've got 48% versus about 5%, so XTS certainly in fantastic position. What does 20B do? What is their defense here? What's the best plan for 20B? Uh, I think right now you set up a gun or a heavy and hold. You can't try to make flashy plays here like oh, they Mayla are. Oh, holding on with one HP. <laughs> Although Deadbolt and Ash just cleaned up too, so I don't know. It's... 
It's Uber versus no Uber, but it's three versus three. So I think Ninja Nick's gonna be able to get the Uber here, unless Sanctuary goes down. Millet is popping right into the spawn so It's a pretty smart move, and nothing that Street Hoops can do about it. Exert is coming from behind to pull it off 5 4. We can kind of see just how quickly a round can get away from a team there on this Badlands map, Flame. Yeah, both teams, I think. It, it's not. It's it's easy to commentate and say what teams are doing wrong. I know in the moment it's like completely different, but I think like one of the issues with this game in general, not the game, is just like the way teams view the pace. It's like it's really it's really easy to say, okay, we have Uber, let's go. But then there's like we have Uber, but we don't have everyone, or like we have Uber, but if we don't kill their medic we lose the round or we lose spire it's like a it's like a weird way of looking perceptualizing the game and i think that if they had just like slowed down a few of their pushes or just balled up as five with their ubers and gone they would have done a lot better the, if they had taken that la that fourth round where xts won i think they had they were in a position to win the round and win the game there but just because they put two people in mid early just to try to get the medic that they didn't really need to kill, they wound up losing the round because of it. Yeah, it's, as we look strange. at the stats here, I don't think the stats really tell much of a story, though. I mean, I think that this was just sort of... Uh, just just the way that you described it, I don't think there was any individual person who really sort of dominated this match here. I think it was um, just kind of a, the momentum train back and forth. I'm seeing if there's anything that stands out, but, but nothing really. Stats are good and all, but... In the end, the only stat that matters is that win in the standings, and a lot of people calling it out right now already in chat, but Exertus moving to 7-0 and in this invite division, so having a fantastic season for themselves. I mean, seven in a row, boy, oh boy. Uh, it's impressive. It's hard. Yeah, it's it hard. is very it's, hard. It's, and it's, especially it's, a, it's very difficult. It, it is, and in this tough uh, division right now, I mean, invite is so skilled right now and so... So many good teams and a lot of teams chomping at the bit to get into LAN. Street Hoops are going to move to 4 and 3, which is not uh, the outcome that they wanted. But uh, at any rate, we've uh, got something to do here now. Uh, we mentioned it earlier. We're going to be giving away a prize. We have the Tyrant's Helm that we have been talking about. And if you were around for any of the I-52 show matches that we did and so on, uh, you know about this already. But basically, I-52, it is coming up in a couple weeks uh, or not even, geez, it's coming up in, yeah, tets, yeah, about two weeks. Um, it's in England. It is a huge international land. We are sending two North American teams there. And as part of our Indiegogo campaign, we were offering entries to win this unusual Tyrant's Helm. It is a purple energy, unusual. It has been worn by tons of well-known players, most famously by Ips. It's been worn by champion players and whatnot. We're going to draw the winner. We're going to draw it right now here tonight. So hopefully a lot of those people that uh, supported the campaign are here. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, is this something you would like to have, Flame? It's worth like friggin' eight buds or something crazy. Yeah, I don't even know what buds are worth anymore. I used to trade a lot, but I know Tyrant's Helm's always worth a lot of money, and that's all you need to know. And I think that, what is it? It's energy? Energies are nice. Purple like, it's energy, like a, yeah. Yeah, it's a clean, it's an old school, like one of the original or <laughs> unusual Absolutely, it's, it's worth a billion dollars. I mean, it, there's there's the buds value, but then there's the value on top of that of the history of this hat. And it was worn during our show matches as well, uh, even though the effect couldn't always be seen. But blame Val for that. But this is a piece uh, of TF2 hat <laughs> memorabilia. History, it is. It absolutely you can display is. Displayed on your profile as I won this for I52 fundraiser. Put it on your item showcase on your Steam profiles. All right, so uh, our man Kurt right now is uh, doing the random thing, and I'm looking at the stream. Uh, there's a stream delay, though. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe I don't know if he can post it into the chat or something like that. But uh, we've got the entrance number. I've got the master list here so that I'll know once uh, Kurt hits randomize. We're going to call out the winner. The, win the winder. The window. We're going to call out the winner of this hat. And uh, so we're, uh, we're going to count it down here. Five, <laughs> four, three. Two, one, do it. Drum roll. We should have had a virtual drum roll here, Flame. No, we couldn't because we might get muted if it's for copyrighted content. I don't know.
So I'm watching the stream here. Here we go. We've got a number. It is 6909987. So let me match this up here on my uh, on my little cheat sheet that I have here. Are you excited? I'm pretty pumped. 6909987 All right, we don't have a name associated with it, but we have an email address. The email address begins, I'm not going to give the full email address, but it begins with deck decuzora, D E C K U Z O R A. If your email address starts with Dekizora and you're watching in the stream, you have won! You won it! <laughs> if, you, if your email address starts with Dekuzora. Yeah, this uh, this individual you put up a hundred email. They put up 125 bucks uh, toward the campaign, which uh, we certainly appreciate, and the teams and the players uh, appreciate that. But that is the winner. They didn't give their name, but uh, if they're in the channel, uh, you're the winner. Congrats. You've won a very valuable priceless piece of memorabilia uh, and we want to thank you as well as everyone else that supported the i-52 campaign we want to just let you guys know that that is going on and we are uh, gonna see coverage of that once it starts coming up our man Lang is gonna be over there but uh, thanks to everyone that did donate and uh, I know that the players appreciate it uh, a lot as well are you excited for uh, i-52 flame it's gonna be a hell of a party isn't it yeah, I'm. I want to watch. Like, I'm curious to see how this goes down. It's it's a strange setting. Like, uh, it's it's like you're flying out to London to play TF2, but you're in London. So, like, even if TF2 doesn't work out so well, like, you're still in London. So <laughs> it's like a <laughs> like. There's a lot of benefits to it. I know the prize pool is not that great. Like, shout out to Fragile for GXL's prize pool being fantastic, but it's like a it's like a trip. You get to go meet the Euros. It's it's good because it makes TF2, I think, seem more um, legitimate in the esports scene. I mean, it's not that it's not legitimate, it's just like it's less covered. But I think that's really puts it into perspective, like how much the community is involved. I think it's one of the, this is definitely one of the more tight-knit communities in esports in general, so I think it's like, it's really cool to see teams just like flying out to London to play TF2, even though there's no personal real incentive other than a trip to London. Yeah, it's, it is great. It's I, I know what you're saying. I, I feel you. I feel you for sure. So, uh, like I say, guys, uh, thank you to everyone that donated. I-52 is coming up later this month. Keep an eye out. It is going to be here. We've got unbelievable things uh, for the coverage. It's going to be like nothing you've ever seen before. It is a huge, huge event. Uh, but I think that's about it for us. We want to thank everyone that came here and watched this evening. Uh, congratulations to Exertus Esports, who took this one 5-4 in really kind of a thriller. They move on to 7-0. Uh, any last parting words here, Flame? Not really. I mean, shout out Sizer. Did, did pretty well that game. <laughs> shout out nice. to Sizer. He did pretty well. Keep at it, Sizer. If you keep practicing, keep, keep you'll be hustling. an invite player someday. Uh, but that's it for us time. here. Uh, my name is Getaway. His name is Flame. Thank you for joining us on Team Fortress TV. Throw out some hearts also for our man Kurt, who uh, did double duty tonight. Not only did he do camera production, but he jumped into random.org for the pleasure of the viewing audience. So the three of us want to say good night, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.